What's up guys, how you doing? All the known raid bugs. But not just raid bugs, all bugs. Niantic has finally confirmed that they're aware of some bugs and we finally know that they're working to fix them. So let's go over all the bugs that are currently ruining our Pokemon Go lives. I'm just going to go ahead and straight up read these straight off my computer. So here we go with the very first one, and it's finally confirmed. Last Premier Ball fails to capture the Raid Boss. We are actively working to resolve an issue where the Raid Boss always breaks free from the last Premier Ball available. Yes, it does not matter what Raid Boss you are battling. If a Magic Carp gives you a hard time and you're down to your last ball, you will not catch it. It will break out immediately. And this is very frustrating. I always give the example to all my friends in uh, community Pokemon Go players. If you do 20 raids, that's 20 possible catch chances. That adds up. That last ball, it is possible to catch the Pokemon on the last ball. I've done it before, but it seems like this glitch popped up, glitch bug, popped up after they changed the 2% catch rate for legendaries up to 3%, and then all hell broke loose. Another very, very poor bug going on right now is the gym control problem. Gym control bonus is not working as intended. During a raid boss encounter, trainers should receive two bonus premier balls. Two? I thought it was one. Two? Oh my gosh. When they have a Pokemon assigned to a gym that their team controls, we're aware that this functionality is not working as intended. It's not working at all. <laughs> Come on, Niantic. <laughs> so yeah. I, we all are missing out on a lot of balls. Two. Gosh, it's been so long since it, I haven't... It's been working. Two balls? Oh my gosh. Now here's another one Kevin brought up to my attention. And I thought they addressed this in the last update, but it's still happening, and it's happened to him the other day. Using potions causes the app to become unresponsive. We are actively working to resolve an issue where gameplay becomes unresponsive after using potions. He actually had to force close the game, and then also Kevin had the game force close on him, and it just straight up glitched, like big time. So, healing potions, mass healing, is still a problem, even though they tried to address it in the last update. I wasn't aware that there was still an issue, but apparently it is. Putting in Pokemon after defeating a gym can still be a problem. Trainers incorrectly receiving an error message when attempting to assign a Pokemon to a gym. Some trainers may experience a bug where they are unable to assign a Pokemon to a gym shortly after the gym has been claimed for their team. Attempting to assign a Pokemon returns the error message the gym is under attack. Try again later. Now, notice it says for some trainers. I would like more details on that. And it, you can click to say learn more, but that's interesting. It's still a bug. It's still a problem. It needs to be fixed. Okay, this one's pretty big. And it's mostly for Samsung Galaxy S8 players, mostly. I've, I've posted this at a video, uh, li uh, it's about a month ago. A uh, link will be in the description that goes over this raid bug. Red error banner appears when interacting with raid battles. Some trainers may experience a bug where they're unable to join or interact with a raid battle. Players may see a red error banner when experiencing this bug. And again, it seems to be with Samsung Galaxy S8 players, maybe some uh, other Android players as well, other Samsungs. Um, again, I'll show you. It happened to me. Link will be down in the description of that video if you want to see that in action. Because it's kind of funny, but a frustrating video at the same time. It's pretty entertaining. And perhaps one of the biggest bugs of them all, other than the Premiere and the Gym Control. Well, they're all pretty big, aren't they? They're, they're all a pretty big problem. Is... The dodging causes the battle to become unresponsive. And that's actually not even correct, so to speak. But let's read it. We are actively working to resolve an issue where gameplay becomes unresponsive after dodging an attack during battle. It's not that it becomes unresponsive. It becomes, well, depending on how they're saying this. Like, unresponsive as in the game doesn't respond to the dodge. Yes, then it's unresponsive. But you get hit with the damage from the dodge. That's what they should say. A bug... They're trying to resolve the issue where when you dodge, you still take damage. That's pretty much it. That's what happens. But uh, those are all the bugs, the really, really bad bugs in the game right now. And it mostly has to do with raids and gems. And if they clean this up, the game will be great. Absolutely. But another key pickup on this is that finally Niantic is aware of the last ball premiere glitch. 
And if you want to see more, a little bit more details on that, um, kind of like I, I show a little bit and I talk about it a little bit more, I'll also have the link to that video in the description as well. If you want to check out the error messages, if that's happening to you, and if you want to see a little bit about the last premier, premier ball glitch, I'll have both those videos linked in the description. But that's it with your boy Fit City. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. I provide all the latest updates, tips, tricks, speculations, Aaron Tang vlogs, Aaron Tang live streams. Zapdos is out. I caught two today. Um, I live streamed those just a few hours ago. But make sure you go out there and get them, especially tomorrow. Zapdos is a beast. That's it with me, guys. I'll see you in the next Pokemon Go video.